same bands as the first game or second game. on that pick. So I've got to make put Johnny on the these front lines toward these kinds of for the course of this event. A, a really good pick and pick here. They want to wait on no more DR or is three and get excited and get jumping in, like jumping to the roll and will be the maybe not as explosive or do you think as explosive? We might get the answer to that before you even get the chance to respond. Scream in a little bit of trouble. Julio is rotating in. They want a little bit more. Stun from the wall. Good. Teleport onto the hammer. Forces Vin away, but he doesn't have mana to work with. Now you just need the damage, and they've got it. First blood. But has Julio been a part of that first blood? He wasn't really there for the assist, but he cut off the path for Scream and then recognized, okay, that kill's confirmed. Hurry's dead, too. One good wall will do it. And one good wall he missed gets the wall. That, but no, the wall was on he the other the side. Wall. Now you need a little bit more. You need someone. Someone has to get him, has to chase him down, but they but can't. I think Johnny's been spotted on the left side of the map, so Haddock can step forward. Hurry has Scream. And they've got Spudio right now. Knockup going to be good. Now just laying in wait. You've got the, the ult, but then you need yep. a little more. And Hurry has what's necessary to get the job done. Johnny dunks down. Stuns out two. Doesn't really have a whole lot of follow-up for that, though. Has to fall back. Shield buff is going to be the target. 3v2 until Rapio gets here. And Rapio is going to be shooting over the wall for the first little bit. Goes around the long waves. Pluck onto Zap Beads a little bit late. Now the knockup too early. And it ends up letting Zap get on out of there for a little bit. Wall good, damage follow up right there. Tycho drums the barrels, roll down the long lane and get the job done. Two kills for Hex Mambo. Shield buff though. You for use screen. that combat dodge a little bit too aggressively. Whereas you can see Johnny just goes, all right, let's just step forward. Let's just go in for damage whenever. Yeah, instead holds the hammer. Could have gone for the secure around the buff. Instead, one of the damage onto Zap slow from Kha'Zix comes out. Slow from Zap Man balances it. Wall, double tap, damage. Oh my god, the delete button from Hex Mambo in the duo lane. The double kill. isn't going for last hits. I'm a little surprised. I guess it's because the kills have gone on to Johnny, which maybe he's going to look for a little more here. All right, double knock up. Zap Man with the ult has some damage. You know, Zap goes down twice. Zero, two, and zero. And you had mentioned it, but looking at the net worth charts, he's 30 gold behind right now. That shot is going to help turn that around. And now with another kill, especially on the spike. Yeah, this is finally what I wanted to see, because at this point, when, when the Ravens are still up in gold and it's seven to one, you got to start doing a little bit more, right? Every time I see Johnny go for a gank, I go, all right, where's what? Stream? It's not as if Ben's going to be that far behind either. Julio's tanky enough, but he just doesn't have you know, the DPS to try and confirm his buffs or, or clear any sort of minions. Right, he's nearby, though, and if anything, taking a lot of damage. Beautiful pullback in. Yeah, from Hurry, but the hammer actually allows him to get away. The fire shot's not going to chase him far enough. Now Vin in a little bit of trouble. Beads again a little late from the pluck, but he's going to be he's gonna be the front line. That is necessary. Stun, though, from Spudio onto Zap. Now you need to hit the autos afterward. Leap is good. Ult goes for the chase now. Zap goes around the long way, though. And now you need a little bit more. That jump is going to come back. Heavenly Banner gets the extra damage. You need one the shot. Solo. Exactly what you need. Johnny was there as a contingency plan, but unnecessary. Spudio gets the solo kill onto Zap. And now the rest of his team has to make up for it on right. Julio. And Rapio and Kha'Zix, all defending the blue buff from four members of the Ravens. Everyone sans zap, getting aggressive. Pluck on the hurry, damage is there. Blue buff goes the way of the Ravens. And the knockups seem to be exactly what you need. Hurry's going to be in trouble. Maybe looking for a little extra is Johnny. Sees Venenu alone on the blue buff, but calls it off. And instead, it's the Pyromancer for the Mamba. Yeah, I love that. It was a little bit too far. Going for Ven, maybe you pull a Relic, but the Pyromancer, definitely a smarter call. Gold, that is the issue. Kills are not the issue. They have never been an issue. Can't step Here forward. He does have a ward on his purple buff, but that's about it as far as vision goes. Hurry win. Once again, plucked back in. The only free was the target, but why not take a Sylvanas? Yeah, find him where you can. You do use an ult from Rapio, but who's really going to be missing it as of right now your 10 kills up fury gets started nonetheless zap is in the area he's going to be walking across a ward has the ult might be going for a steal but he's going to get zoned out pretty easily johnny is holding a position behind some of the ravens maybe looking for venenu they've got the pyro they've got the fury now they want to go for a few more kills. It's just the lockdown that's going to make the big difference. Julio chasing Vin across the planet. 
and slowly but surely funneling him into the rest of his team. Johnny, wall, gonna get beads out. Hammer not gonna connect, uses it to teleport forward, try and chase him down. Slow from Haddix, helps Peel, and now Johnny's the one in trouble, can't get out of that one. Kha'Zix getting burned through, Julio forced to run away. This tier one tower is not going to do enough to defend you, they have to keep on running. Haddix with the chase, might not have the damage to get the kill, rest of the team turns around, gets Maybe the tier fight on the horizon, they're looking for hurry. And so far, this has been a pretty tried and true method of killing a Sylvanas. He's not known for being fast. They've got the CC, but now he's just tanky enough that it's not going to be enough. Instead, they Poor are hurry, going for the Tier 1 dive. Maybe not enough. The Ravens, in response, turn things around. Now trying to figure out where they want to go ahead and lock things down. And it's going to be on the Sobek. One more shot and one more kill. Haddix is the one to open up this fight now. Hex Mambo, they're spread all around. Rapio's low, Spudio's low, and the chase is on Julio. Saves a little bit with an execute, but now Relic's being used, and the chase is on two. Disappear from Hex Mambo, the lead virtually gone, and now the Ravens in control of this game. You have the Ravens, they win that fight one or two. They're around the Fire Giant, but the Pyromancer looks a little bit more daunting. They're going to go in just to try and grab it, but Julio's already back, and he's pretty tanky already. Pyromancer getting shredded. Low stake steal, but he gets pulled back in the well, raider. Finally for Hex Mamba, right? Kill leads, they're oh. still up by so much. Johnny might even be able to push it a little further, though. Scream ults in retaliation. And is actually going to be the one looking for the chase down. Where they end up going. <laughs> Blinks over the wall. They were playing a little bit of game of cat and he mouse. Back over. <laughs> and I don't think either knows where the other's going. Left side fight kicks off, and the Ravens oh, looking lock. to try and control and lock things down. Julio is the main target. Getting shredded through Zap, doing so much damage to him. And Scream looking like he might be the janitor to come clean this one up. Zap leaves forward. Great wall from Johnny. The impale not on the mark, so the damage a little missing. I can't believe this, but right no now, one it's died? Mambo. They're getting to walk away with all their lives. Wow, that is ridiculous. I mean, now Fire Giant being started up. Hurry win, healing up the team. Spudio and Rapio, they know this is happening, but there's not really many ultimates to go in. It's just damage, and Haddix teleports in full HP. Spudio already half because he hasn't gotten to go back. They're going to step forward. Vin taking a lot of damage. Fire Giant, 50-50. Ravens pick that one up, and now they just got to disengage. You can see the zone. In fact, they might not even want to disengage. They see Spudio, and they see red in the water. Johnny into the sky, has to come crashing down at some point lands exactly where he needs to with the damage. It's on to Zap, not on to Vin. They're going to kill one carry, but lose the jungler in the process. Now, trying to push forward again. Split targets and split team fight. But he has been too low to get aggressive. Now with the slow from Haddix, you have to worry about the chase down, catch up, and Scream is going to do exactly that for one. Takes out Spudio, turns this to a favorable trade, and now has the beeline directly to Rapio. Takes him down, double for Haddix, coming up the Ravens. We're just able to get healed back up. So much work being put in by Hurrywind here. Julio and Kha'Zix. They've got a lot of tank stats, but do they have enough damage to keep this Phoenix alive? So far, the Phoenix hasn't been the main target. In fact, Haddix has taken a ton of damage. This is not an enhanced Fire Giant, so it's a slow burn, but they get the bird. It costs them Scream. Now Vin and Hurry are going to have to get out of there. Johnny's got ult. Play it a little safe. You mentioned it. Johnny's got ult. How fast can he move? And He's going for he speed. Go for it. He grabs the speed. It seems like maybe they're letting this fall he behind. He can be a threat to sh shred through things like Julio, who's sitting at 3-0 at the moment. Haddix actually blinks in some good damage off, but I don't imagine much comes from this. I think he's just being a nuisance. Yeah, and admittedly, it's maybe showing the one important factor of this. Try to deal with me, and, and they can't. Instead, it creates a... a it's going to be the Ravens with their Titan marching into the Tier 2, maybe even looking for a little more. With Haddix here, do they threaten a Phoenix? I wouldn't hate it. Julio getting pulled back in. He's going to take a lot of damage here. Forcing the Fatal Strike, and Haddix goes to the back line. Massive slow to lock him down, and then Spudio Zap follows stuck. up with the damage. You need a little bit more. Look how low they are. The chase is going to be their hurry. Finds the first one in the game. Johnny tries to find some CC, but instead he splits the uprights. Can't do much about it. The chase from the Ravens is strong. Pillar ends up saving Scream from going too far too deep. But with the Titan here, they knock down the Phoenix. They're in a good spot to find themselves the advantage. The 2-1 lead, but they need a little more to make it work. Hurry, stunned out. And damaged Titans up. Get low. You're trying to hold on as best you can, but like you said, that Titan, it's marching its way towards death, and the Ravens march their way towards a two strength and a full HP Titan. A lot of where that comes from, because it feels like.